Welcome to the Isis Goddess, Isis Temple Meditation. Relaxing yourself now. Falling deeper into your inner world. Letting go of the stress of your day. The busyness of your mind. Any lingering emotions. Breathe them down to Gaia through your central core. Expand your heart energy to six feet in all directions. Forming a sphere of your own heart energy. Breathe this energy down to the heart of Gaia. Receive from her whatever it is you need in your here and now. Breathe this energy stream up through your higher chakras to source and down to Gaia again in your own tempo. Forming your own unique energetic signature, your energetic pillar, which refreshes your energy protects your energy and so many more things. We ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our God presences, our guides, our ascension councils to work in harmonious or group consciousness together. So the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for all of us in our here and now. We ask for a temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for a temple of divine union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. And finally, calling on a God presence communion temple to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Really, truly feel these energetic frequencies interweave with your field, support you. Raise your frequency, open your field. And then place your attention, your awareness, your consciousness in the divine union temple. Where you are greeted by Isis, goddess Isis, ascended master Isis. She thanks you for being here today, following your guidance by your spirit. And she is pleased to be able to connect with you in this way. For you have a very strong connection with each other. She asks you to receive from her now heart to heart. She opens up a lotus flower in your heart chakra with 12 petals and infuses each petal and the flower with divine frequencies, with divine, divine union frequencies. Isis explains that today's journey will be very unique and special. For most of you, she says, it will be a new experience. During this experience, she asks you to be in a very surrendered state, a state of simply receiving, not overthinking 
not projecting outwards as much, but understanding that all you need to receive will be received by you. And the deeper you can be in a receptive mode, the more you will gain from being in this session, the more you will understand the true wisdom of the teachings, the more the energetics will make positive change for you. Within the Divine Union Temple, the floor opens up to reveal a staircase. Isis asks all to follow her. This staircase leads to an ancient secret chamber connected to the pyramids, the pyramids of Egypt. And Isis smiles back at everyone and says, this is where your journey starts. In immediately letting go of any connotations any thoughts your mind has brought up in connection to what this means. A chamber connected to the pyramids. She says it is both extremely relevant and not relevant at all. So before we move on, she says, she invites you again to drop deep into yourself, let go of the mind construct the emotional constructs and simply be deep, deep within your inner world. Be in that place that your divine inner child, guided by your inner masculine and inner feminine, can hold you, can bring you, can nurture you. Allow the mystery of the journey to unfold without expectations. without preconceived notions, without any worry, without any fear. Simply be. And she sends the frequency of this transmission back to each and every one of you. So your spirit can drop you deeper into yourself to enjoy fully the mystery of this journey. She says, now everyone is ready and smiles. Following Isis down the staircase now, a very narrow staircase, very steep. with some left turns and right turns, going rapidly deeper and deeper underground from the Divine Union Temple. And Isis reminds you, if and when at any time your mind starts to wander or overthink, to surrender back out of it, back into that core where your spirit resides, your divine inner child, your inner masculine, your inner feminine, work harmoniously together, are one in the here and now.
For some, that place will be connected to peace. For others, love or light or wisdom, bliss, divinity. Allow your spirit to show you what works best for you. And then hold on to that particular feeling to stay in this space within your inner world. As we travel deeper and deeper, many crystals in the walls of the staircase supply the light we need to travel here. And Isis smiles again and she says, how each and every one of you perceive this staircase and the crystals within the walls will be very unique and a precursor to what awaits. For some of you, there will be some emotions coming up, potentially of constriction or worry of the unknown. For others, the drawing of adventure awaits. And neither is better than the other. Simply allow yourself to move through these layers without attaching your mind to them. Focus on the energy of harmony, peace, bliss, whichever emotion, whichever energy works best for you, Isis says. Isis arrives at a very large metal and wooden door and opens this with a very ancient looking key. As she enters, she spends a moment energetically sweeping the space. And it seems as though this chamber, this ancient chamber, hasn't been visited for quite a while. As we all enter the chamber, it is large enough to hold the many of us and the stone walls have candles lit candles on them. As everyone has entered, Isis closes the door and seals the door for the duration of the session. And as the door is sealed and locked, the chamber transforms. It almost appears endless in all directions. Isis invites you and your spirit to communicate to you energetically how this chamber space looks and presents itself to you now. What colors do you see? How bright is it? How warm is it? What materials are used? And for most of you, it will be as if you are alone in this chamber space. For some of you, 
it will be a very modern chamber space, for others very galactic, for others very ancient, but unique to each and every one of you. The first phase of today's teachings, Isis states, is for you to learn how your chamber is presented to you and then to find a spot for you to sit down or lay down as designed by your spirit. Keep breathing deeply up and down your pillar and stay out of your mind. Make this an experiential journey of healing and new profound wisdom that only this ancient chamber can offer you. The energetics of the chamber are built upon the energetics of the pyramid structure and the pyramid structures. With again the reminder that all of these structures, chambers, energetics are on the inner, in your inner world. So letting go of any preconceived notion of what this means based on your outer reality. As your spirit has shown you your chamber now, find a space to sit down or lay down. This can be a crystal bed, a comfortable chair. This can be by a fire, by running water, in the open air, whatever your guidance is. As you lay down or sit down, Isis invites you to keep your eyes open here on the inner. For you will be receiving powerful insights for your mission next steps on your journey for your here and now in your earthly incarnation your spirit has chosen this particular opportunity to offer you these insights for some of you these clues will be very cryptic for others they will be plain as day If they are cryptic, it is for you to figure them out. But your presence will guide you and assist you, and growth lies in figuring it out. Just as you are veiled in your earthly incarnation, you do not see what lies ahead, for this has been your choice coming down into this earthly incarnation. You chose to forget so you could remember. And depending on where you are on your path and the expression of your mission, your clues will be either more cryptic or very clear. Neither is better than the other. It simply is, Isis states again with a smile. As you sit in your chair or lay down on your crystal bed. As an example, she says, your spirit brings you your first clue for next steps or deeper insights to making decisions in your here and now reality. 
receive this clue now. And this clue can come in many, many shapes and forms as a gift, as a reminder, as an old storyline, as a new storyline, as a color, as a shape, as a little story unfolding before your eyes. Allow your spirits to present this first clue for you now. The dynamics of this chamber and the chamber your spirit has guided you to form energetically and the dynamics of the pyramid energies make it possible for your spirits to communicate to you in a way that normally isn't possible. This is why these clues can be presented to you to gain such a deep understanding of next steps and deeper insights for you that this is why your spirit has chosen this particular mechanism to communicate with you. Simply receive clue one without trying to figure it all out, Isis says. Simply observe and take it all in. Again, for some of you, there will be immediate clarity. For others, it is more of a puzzle. If it is more of a puzzle, enjoy this. Stay in that place of bliss or peace or harmony that you were guided as you moved down the stairs. For this is key not to be discouraged, for these are great blessings you are receiving. You may ask for more clarity. However, your spirit, your presence knows exactly what works best for you and will use, utilize the most optimum messages for you. Sixty percent complete for this first clue. If you feel constriction at any time, keep expanding your energy bodies to receive more deeply. Isis is supporting each and every one of you as well. 80% complete for clue one. And finalizing this first clue now. Take it all in deeply. Connect it to the energy, the emotion that was communicated to you as you moved down the stairs with your divine masculine, feminine and divine inner child. 
Immediately now your chamber starts changing again. Pay attention to the new chamber, says Isis, and find your new spot again. This will be sitting down or laying down. Your chamber will look very different now. You may still be alone in the chamber, or you may notice others around you. Your spirit is using any and all means to communicate different messages through to you. Take it all in, all will make sense. And as you find your new spot, keeping your eyes open, your spirit starts transmitting clue number two through to you. Again, this may be a simple gift, an energetic transmission, colors, shapes, new storylines, old storylines, different scenes, places, people may flash before your eyes. Take it all in. The energetics of the pyramid are strengthening these downloads powerfully. The pyramid energy is enhancing the downloads strongly and significantly. And Isis smiles and she says, pay particular attention as well to how your chamber has transformed for how each chamber looks and feels is very closely connected to the clue that is being communicated. Fifty percent complete for clue two. If any of you need extra assistance, Isis says to call on her more strongly and she will and can assist you more deeply. Keep expanding your energy bodies and surrender, surrender. Don't try to figure it all out right now. Stay out of the mind, she says. You will not forget any of the relevant keys for your spirit will keep communicating them to you after this session as well. But they will be received as seeds and will take root during this session under these energetic circumstances in this ancient chamber in your inner realms connected to the pyramid energies. 80% complete for clue two.
final phase of clue two is now being communicated to you by your spirit. Take it all in deeply, Isis is. Simply allow it to move through you and settle into your energy bodies. All information is energy, she says. Trust that you are receiving exactly what you need in the best possible way for you to understand what your spirit is communicating through to you. Allowing you to see more of an area of what is to come for you which previously has been veiled by your choice. Now is the time. Sealing this second clue up. Breathe deeply up and down your pillar now. As for this final round, your chamber changes all over again. Watch how it changes. Feel how it changes. Know how it changes. Does it get bigger or smaller? Do you see colors, golds, silvers? Is it smooth? Is it soft? Is it open or enclosed? Are you alone or other people or groups are there? Hold on to that positive feeling that you were guided to as you walked down the stairs and find your seat or lay down again. As your spirit starts transmitting the final and third clue. With your eyes open, take it all in. Remember you're here to gather and soak up the information in these unique energetics on the inner realms and you will be assisted to figure it all out later. Some of the pieces can be figured out straight away. But often it will happen post this session. Particularly Isis says, within about a week after this session in Earth time. Even more clear, she says, within a week after you move through this session. Take all the information in deeply. Simply soak it all up. Soak it all up. As much of it as you can without getting your mind involved. Without being afraid that you won't remember or aren't receiving clearly because you are. Even if you don't know exactly what you are receiving, you are receiving powerfully in all of the cells of your multidimensional energy bodies. 30% complete. Fifty percent complete. Keep surrendering, focusing on the feeling that you were guided to focus on with your divine inner child, your divine masculine, your divine feminine.
70% complete. And as you receive the final phase of the third clue, your spirit also starts to bring the three clues together, for they are all connected. They are three parts to a whole. They are a trinity. And the way the chamber, chambers presented themselves to you are all interconnected as well. They can be layers of the same item. They're all parts of the puzzle. Allow your spirit to reveal all the layers and energetics that you have received. 90% complete now for clue number three and the full sealing up. Many of you will feel clockwise or counterclockwise sealing up energies. You will feel as though the dimensions are connected in receiving, and they are. You are receiving very multi-dimensionally right now, Isis is. Take it all in. Keep surrendering, keep breathing up and down your pillar, take it all in, receive deeply. As the chamber starts to spin now and morph with the other two chambers that you were presented with before, See now how everything is intertwined and becomes smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller. Until it is a seed or a crystal that your spirit plants within your heart chakra. And from there emanates out through all of your multidimensional energy bodies, your potential timelines, and your potential choices based on how you figure things out and what choices you make based on that. Very gently now, you will notice how the chamber comes back to how it was after Isis closed the door. You will see the stone walls again and the candles on these walls. Everything appears as when we started. Isis smiles. You have all done very well, she says. This is an extremely powerful energetic experience. After this session is complete, she says, you and your spirit will figure things out within one week. And within that week, next steps in many areas of your life will become very clear to you. Isis states that for most of you, this session is best done once, for your spirit will utilize this opportunity to communicate fully to you. 
that this, your here and now, was and is the very best time for you to use and have used this particular session. And you have received all that you need, she says. She smiles and asks everyone to remain in the same space as when they came down the stairs, moving back up the stairs to the Divine Union Temple. Isis opens the door and asks all to start walking up the stairs again. They are more brightly lit now. The path is clear back to the temple. And Isis seals the large metal and wooden door once again. And she smiles contently and follows everyone up the stairs back to the Divine Union Temple. As we arrive back in the temple, Isis invites all to sit in a circle and hold hands. She says, each and every one of you have had your own unique journey with many blessings already received and many yet to unfold. Communicate with your spirit powerfully over the next week and as much as possible will be revealed to you through the veils. She smiles in silence and it is time to seal this session up. We thank Isis ever so deeply for being a part of this session, for arranging this session with our spirits. We thank the temples, the chamber and the pyramids, Mother Gaia, our teams, our presences, guides, the archangels and ascended masters. Coming fully back into your here and now with all of your consciousness, all of your awareness. Breathing deeply up and down your pillar as we ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light, empowerment, sending it all down to the heart of Gaia, accessible for all who are ready. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it. So be it. So be it. It is done. Again, allow one week for integration time and many, many, many blessings for you all.